Huawei has just taken the wraps off its next big thing and by big, we literally mean huge, the new Huawei Mate 8 features a large 6-inch display and is the spiritual successor to the Mate 7. It comes with thinner edges and 2.5D, slightly curved towards the edges glass that would make it more ergonomic to hold and hopefully, more comfortable to handle. Here is a quick look at the Huawei Mate 8 specs highlights. Platform, Android 6.0 Marshmallow with Huawei Emotion UI 4.0 Screen, 6-inch IPS LCD with a resolution of 1080x1920 pixels SoC, High Silicon Kirin 950 with 4X Cortex-A72S at 2.3 GHz, 4X Cortex-A53S at 1.8 GHz RAM 3GB slash 4GB Internal storage, 32GB slash 64GB Camera, 16MP Sony IMX298 rear cam with f slash 2.0 aperture and 3 axis OIS, 8MP Sony IMX179 front cam with f slash 2.4 aperture Battery, 4,000 mAh there are a few things worth going through here, first, the display. At its large, 6 size, it's a bit of a surprise to see a resolution lower than Quad HD. The 1080x1920 pixel resolution works out to a pixel density of around 367 ppi on this screen, which is below most of the competition, but we would not go on to say that it is not enough for the screen to appear sharp from regular viewing distance. The Huawei Mate 8 will be on display at CES 2016. Also, the rear camera is a fairly capable Sony IMX298 unit with phase detection autofocus for faster locking. Having 16 megapixels of resolution at its size means that pixel size is 1.12 micron, the lowest end on the market, and typically this would result in some issues with low light sensitivity, but we're yet to see how Huawei has dealt with those theoretical issues. Interestingly, Huawei has also opted for Triaxis Optical Image Stabilization, OIS, which should minimize handshake in video and allow for faster shutter speeds and sharper images. There is a new and improved fingerprint scanner on the back, Huawei says erroneous recognition rate on it is just between 2% and 1%, and the sensor is a 360-degree all-round reader that takes just 0.5 seconds to complete a one-touch unlock. It also packs added functionality, you can use it to pay for stuff, it seems that the feature is initially available in China only, though, to unlock securely documents, to lock applications, stop the alarm, access private photographs, and even answering calls, via a long press. Finally, the combination of a 4,000 mAh battery and the high silicon Kirin 950 will be what determines the performance and battery longevity of the Mate 8. Huawei officially says Mate 8 battery life will be 2.36 days with normal use, while HD video playback time stands at up to 17 hours. The phone will also support quick charging, getting a day worth of battery life with a 30-minute charge. On the SoC side, the Kirin 950 is an octa-core chip with four high-performance Cortex-A72S running at up to 2.3 GHz, it should deliver more than sufficient oomph. The chip itself will be built on 16nm Fin FET silicon. The Huawei Mate 8 will be available in China in the first quarter of 2016, while more details about the handset will be presented at CES in early January, expect the first hands-on looks at the Mate 8 then as well. First, the release date, the Mate 8 is coming to the Chinese market in the first quarter of 2016, putting it in the same time frame when we expect to see high-profile devices like the Samsung Galaxy S7, the Mate 8 will likely arrive earlier. Then, we have the Huawei Mate 8 prices in China. Keep in mind that international prices will likely be slightly higher, 
but clearly this is a device just slightly cheaper than the most premium phones, so we should consider it as a high-end affair. Here are the prices. 3GB RAM, 32GB storage version, $470, 2,999 yuan slash 3,199 yuan, depending on connectivity. 4GB RAM, 6 4GB storage version, $580, 3,699 yuan. 4GB RAM, 1 to 8 GB storage version, $690, 4,399 yuan. Interestingly, Huawei I will also offer a discounted bundle of the Huawei I Mate 8 with a special luxury monarch edition of the Huawei I Watch. Together, the two will cost $1,080, 6,888 yuan.